Today's archive is going to be a little bit messed up, I'm thinking. So, the goal of this hand is to cast Mantis Rider on three, I think is I think is our goal. So, how can we do that? We want to fetch green-red on one, planes on... Uh, green-red on one, planes on two, island on three. Yeah, I think they'll do it. So green red on one, planes on two, Sildman Advocate, Island on three, Rider attack for five. Okay. <laughs> it could happen fairly often, Matt Man. I really appreciate it when it does. We got Reflector Mage on three now too. My kid went upstairs. I can put turn his turn Caillou off. Uh. Epic balls with the follow. I appreciate that. Four birds would definitely... Birds of Paradise would be... There's a reason why they don't print one-man accelerants anymore, much less accelerants that are as good as Birds of Paradise. So you got here, like, Transgress. I hope this is Mardu Green. I really want to play this matchup if it is. Yep, all right. I'm going to fetch this. Still getting green-red regardless. Oh, the cutouts and downtime. Yeah, something. I don't know if it's... Maybe it is my internet and not Twitch. I don't know. The rest of my connections seem to be maintaining themselves. It's dying again. Nope. It's coming back. All right. Birds would be insane in standard. Canopy Vista... Island Mountain. Yeah, I guess that's better if we draw Savage Knuckle Blade. Good call, gaming. And then, and then we drew Savage Knuckle Blade. Well, I guess I'm fetching Island here on two, and then we'll see what we want to do with this on three. We might get Basic Forest. So it's looking like black, red dragons, or we drew another one of these. So we're definitely just gonna play the savage knuckle blade out. I definitely think we should have done uh, the sequence that uh, Amp Live Gaming suggested, though, with the mana. Mono removal, sure. Grixis. Grixis something or other. Man, do I want to just play a Reflector Mage? I think I do. I think I want to just cast a Reflector Mage here. We'll play... We'll play Stratus Dancer face down next turn. Just need to put, like, some power on the table. He probably, his deck's probably not that creature dense, so, like... Holding Reflector Mage to bounce something probably doesn't have all that much value to it. Watch him just, like, play Dragon into Dragon here and, like, wish I had the Reflector Mage. Kalidus, sure. Well, I guess now we'll bounce this and hit him for two. Yeah, the standard mana bases you have to think about a lot. It's a big part of the game. And like like I said, that's why I really I like the black white deck, is because you have to it's just it's a lot more straightforward in terms of like which which lanes you're getting. I'm just gonna crack these. Get the mountain, get the green white duel. He knows this is a Stratus Dancer, so if he has a removal spell here, he's going to play it in response. Yep, that's fine. Maybe I'm supposed to Dramokas command that? I guess that's possible. I'd buy that for a dollar. So his last card's Kalidus. 
All right, Kalidus XX. 3-4 lifelinking is going to be hard to race. How about some Coco? How about some Coco? All right, Reflector Mage. Easily the most annoying card in Standard. Glad it's on our side of the table. This, this right here. M easily, easily the most annoying card in Standard. So we're going to wait to cast the Dromoka's Command because we want to be able to flip this up. We also see what we draw to. Mantis Rider, not bad. Yeah, I think we just have to play this. And I don't want to play this out because um, I want to hold I want to hold up uh, I want to hold up Stratus Dancer flipping up. So he's going to 8 here. And just keep replaying this Kalidus out. So this is the Grixis deck. Ride the Worm. Rawr. This card's so good until we get Chandra this turn. This card's really good. I guess he has to minus four to kill the board with Chandra. You could just like minus three and keep the Kalidus, I guess, but then we kill the Chandra with the. <sighs> I'm not blocking because of Radiant Flames. No, I guess Chandra would be the reason not to block there. I'm not sure actually. That block was not that, that no block was probably wrong. Thankfully, we drew Jamoka's command, so I think we just kill him anyways. This is a lethal attack. He fires up Fomoral. We fight it with Reflector Mage before blocks. Right, dead. He stumbled a little bit, but that seemed really easy. Do we want Roast in this matchup? Killing Jace seems valuable. I just, I feel like against these more controlling decks, like this deck's configured in a way that's like reasonable against them, just with like the selection of threats we're playing. So I feel like I just want to like not change much and just like click submit. I could see maybe cutting like one Jeskai charm. I guess it's good at saving our guys from Radiant Flames, which he's definitely bringing in. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, like, click Submit here. Actually, I'm going to cut a Bounding Crisis and bring in another Jace. That's the change I've been making. Like, I like going, going up the extra Jace against uh, against these grindy decks. The Yasovas, the one of Yasova is weird. So people that uh, got to the stream a little bit late, we're playing a list that card for card uh, top aided the SCG Classic uh, in Philadelphia. So that's why I didn't make any of these card selections. Stroke seems reasonable. Charger can be annoying. That's fair. I guess Dromoka's command doesn't stop Chandra. The problem is, if we want to board in strokes, we have to cut non-creature spells. So, like, I think we, if we wanted to bring in strokes, we'd cut, like, one command and one company. Is what, what the trims would have to be. Cursing in. Welcome. Take my Savage Knuckle Blade. 
That's a good draw. Probably dead anyways, but like, still a good draw, must answer card. Maybe, oh, we have two Jeskai Charms. We could cut the Jeskai Charms for Stroke. I could see that being fine. I like Jermoka's Command because it kills his, um, not only does it kill his idiots, but it also, um, uh, what is the word I'm searching for? It kills his idiots and it counters Radiant Flame, so. So I think, uh, maybe if we get to a third game here, it counters Kalidus too. Okay, yeah, I think I'm down for that. So... In the next game, we're going to, if we get to a third game here, we're going to cut the Jeskai charms for Jake's Field with a brand new sub. Welcome a new hooligan to Hoogland. I appreciate that. I really do. It's the absolute best way to support the stream. Keeps me running. Keeps Twitch going, you know. Everyone, everyone wins. We're going to... So I almost just jammed the Reflector Mage, but that's really bad if he has Radiant Flame. So I think I'd rather just, like, hold up Dramoka's Command. Also, it's possible I'm supposed to just play the Lumbering Falls and let the Bounding Crisis die to a burn spell here, and then the following turn can... Thanks. I really appreciate that. I try to do my best, you know, just talk about what we're doing and why we're doing it. B Savage Knuckle Blade is the reason I am I am playing this deck for sure. This is really our only threat, so I'm going to make him one bigger and prevent the damage from this. It also means, like, we're not just sitting here holding this up, so... Prevent all damage, give my guy a counter. We get a couple of sweet emotes. I actually think we get another emote at 50 subs, so we're getting close, actually. i got to check. It's either 50 or 100. I forget when that happens exactly. But Lumbering Falls. So we're going to ship for four here, and the next turn we can fire up the Falls and crash for seven. So that's not bad. This could just eat a Grasp of Darkness here too, though. So another thing to be aware of. If he Grasps us, if he, if he killed that there before damage, I might just play the Reflector Mage just to continue adding pressure to the table. Zach, howdy, welcome. Standard seems really sweet right now. It's got a lot. It's got a wide selection of decks, and um, punished for not playing the Reflector Mage. Sure, uh, it's got a wide selection of decks, and all of them have pretty even matchups. Crash for seven. He's got two cards in his hand. He can't cast Dig the way he fetched, which is interesting. Shouldn't have played this. I should have uh, played this one out because he knew this one existed. So he's cutting this, I assume. Yeah. Uh, the deck is located on SCG. It's also linked below the stream. Anytime I'm streaming with anything, I go ahead and I add it to my um, my metery decks page. So you can always find them all there. But this is the, I think it's the seventh place deck list from the Classic this past weekend. Yeah, I also, I've been posting them on Twitter, I've been posting screenshots, but, like, nice, easy, copy and paste, export, editable deck lists on, uh, on my Metery page. I don't write for the Metery anymore, but their website's still nice and offers some good services, so I use it. He's going down to four. So, showcasing the power of Manlands when you flood. Huh. I think I want to just play Stratus Dancer face down here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to ship for three here because I want to leave Stratus Dancer up. The only thing that punishes us for this is if he untaps and plays Chandra, but that doesn't punish us because then Fomoral just kills him. <laughs> 